called today is composed of two parts. The first part is going to be the conjugated form of avoir etre in the present. For most verbs, you're going to use avoir. However, there are certain verbs in which you want to use etre. The first group of verbs in which you use etre are going to be verbs of motion. Some examples of these verbs are alle, venir, and partir. And many others. The second group of verbs that you use etra with are going to be pronominal verbs. These are verbs such as salave or sarave. The third group of verbs in which you use etra are going to be verbs of state or being. These verbs include reste, morir, or netra. The second part of the passé composé is going to be the past participle. The past participle is formed using the infinitive of the main verb. And then you're going to take away the ending, which will be the ER. RE or IR, and you're going to replace it with IL CONTEGU, YOU, and I. For example, PANIR, which is a regular IR verb, you take away the IR, and it becomes FINI. Uh, part, uh, Vandra, which is a regular RE verb, you take away the RE, and it becomes Vandu. Um, a regular ER verb is parlay. You take away the ER, and it becomes parlay with an E accenting it. Um, it's important to remember that when using etra for the verb, the past participle has to agree in gender and in number. For example, if the subject is feminine, then you would add an e to the past participle. If the subject is plural, such as nu, you would add an s to the past participle. And if the subject is feminine and plural, you would add an es to the past participle. One last thing to remember for the passé composé is the irregular past participles. Some examples of these are avoir, which becomes u, um, etre, which becomes ete, fair, which becomes fe, voir, becomes vu and prandre, which becomes pre. So, to review, the passé composé is composed of two parts. The first part is going to be the conjugated form in the present of avoir or etre. Um, you have to use etre with verbs of motion, uh, pronominal verbs, and verbs of state or being. Uh, the second part of the passé composé is going to be the past participle.
To form the past participle, use the infinitive of the main verb, and then you take away the ending and add the endings e, conte, gu, you, and I. And the last thing to remember for the passé composé is the irregular past participles, um, which is a list that you have to memorize. Um, say do.